and welcome back one and all. So we are here today at Join New Bear. If you have not already, make sure of course you hit that subscribe button and leave the video with a like. So this is the first of two maps and no, this is not where the main boss is going to be. So we're just going to run through the quest because I haven't done that in ages and I just kind of wanted to start doing that again just as a weekly thing because I should really still be doing that. Anyway, so once you've done the first quest which you just have to buy a token from Cicero's shop, you can head inside and defeat some enemies. And to be specific, it's the bees. Anyway, for the next quest, you come inside, defeat the honey golem glob things which are just on the floor, and then you just go and pick up the mess they've made. Very, very straightforward. They're just in the consecutive rooms as you go through with the blue arrows for you to click on. Anyway, so for our next quest, you want to defeat some of the bees again, and then once you've done that, head down the end and you can click on the door to unjam it. You can actually find out that Cicero's in the next room, but I didn't figure that out until this part. Next up, you defeat these poo slime things, or poolets, I cannot remember what on earth they call them, but you get the gist. And then there is the boss in the area, which you go from defeating things with about 2,000 health to 120,000, so suddenly lower levels may need a helping hand. So next, you'll end up joining Lim FT. no idea how you meant to say that. And again, you need to purchase a token. This time it's 2,000 gold, just in order to get the next set of quests loaded up. So once you have done that, head inside and defeat the weird fireball thing. I think it's actually literally called a fireball as well. So once you've done that, head back to Lim. Well, you say head back, he's still there standing there, believe it or not. So next up, we are going to head inside of here yet again, because you sort of get the gist of this and defeat the wind things. And then there's a load of like nuts and bolts for you to click on on the floors of each of the rooms. Anyway, so once we've done that one, we have got to kill these scavengers. Now, not all these drop from them, so you'll kill them, which are the little sock golem and larky things. And then again, there's some nuts and bolts on the floor for you to click on. So I'm just going to let these last couple of quests play through on our route to the boss, because there's actually some quite nice drops. And I will show you a little preview later on. So the U Bear boss, which you will see in a couple quest time, actually does drop some nice things, he's got like some chainsaw, a couple armours, none of it is adventure coin tagged apart from one item, and that one item is the altar of Salabog, and if you are like myself an altar collector, you'll know what I mean eventually, then this is actually probably a very very cool boss drop for you to get. Now I have no idea what the drop rate is going to be, I'm probably going to presume it's going to be around 1% chance of getting it as it's the only adventure coin tagged item there. It does not come with any quests that I'm aware of, although if it did that would be pretty damn cool because of course the salad bulb was obtained in a totally different way and I have no idea because I can't remember for the life of me, all I know is that I've got one and that was from some time ago. Anyway, so you do also unlock this merge shop here which has some quite nice items. It's worth mentioning all the medium rare ones are going to be going rare because in order to get them you need to merge items from the actual rares shop which of course are just the rare armors. But yeah, if you fancy getting any of them, please do feel free. I quite like the little Doom Knight helms and the Skewl pet right there. I think that looks very, very cool. Anyway, so as promised, the Salabolg. Yes, so this is what the altar actually looks like. It is pretty much normal Calabolg altar, but ever so slightly different. As you can tell, it's going to be green. So yes, there it is, dropped by the u Bear. And that is the main item that I'm going to be trying to get my hands on to put inside of my house. Because I think it would look very, very nice in the corner alongside Calabog. And I'll probably move Ultra Sanguine across into the middle. Something like that. Then I think I'm only missing one altar. Maybe. Possibly. Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave the video with a like. And, of course, subscribe. And I'll probably be back when I get Void High Lord. Until then, have a lovely day.